What up you guys? It's me again. Um, <clears throat> two videos in one. One, I keep making videos of to get saved. Because we are in dire need of salvation from God. Um, salvation is a gift of God for all who believe in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. The only way to receive that gift is not, it's not by, oh God, Father, I received your gift, you receive your gift of salvation. I'm saved now. Woohoo. Absolutely not. You receive Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 through 9 states, for, if, for it is by grace that we have been saved through faith. You have to have faith. Not of yourselves. Not anything we can do ever will be good enough to um, get saved. Um, but it is the gift of God. It is the gift of God that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us. Um, so, um, get saved now. So, uh, if, you, if you're unsaved, you would ha you'll have to stand in the judgment of the great white throne of judgment for the wicked. The unsaved people will be in a separate judgment from the righteous. The, the judgment of the wicked is called the great white throne of judgment. It's absolutely terrifying. God, um, the worst words that you can ever hear is not on, not of the world of this world. Um, it's uh, it's billions, it's unimaginably even worse than hearing about a loved one dying, um, because he's Jesus is going to say, "Depart from me, ye cursed, into the everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels." He's going to send you to the lake of fire to burn in hell forever um, for the punishment of your sins. Um, so. Um, And there, you know, the verse, and um, the sea gave up the dead, and there was no place found for them. Um, there's only two destinations afterwards, after death, two afterlifes, heaven and hell. There's no place found for them in heaven, is what it means. And they were cast into the lake of fire. So, that being said right there, um, the righteous, the judgment seat of Christ for the righteous is called the judgment seat of Christ. We will be judged of how we lived our lives, but since the saved who've accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior accepted his life in us. So we have Jesus Christ's life inside of us now. If you're saved, if, if you've believed on his cro on the sacrifice of his on the cross at Calvary, um, then you're uh, sinless through the eyes of God, even though our flesh is of sin, our souls are sinless, which is really good. So that's awesome. But we still need to repent because we still can be disconnected from God because of our flesh, sinful flesh. We can still be disconnected from God um, in this world. Um, but once we die, we're guaranteed inheritance into heaven. Once saved, always saved is not true. It's true. It's not in the Bible, but it does mention it in different contexts. T contexts like Jesus, I give them ever at lasting life. Nobody shall perish. Nobody shall pluck them out of my Father's hand. That right there indicates that Jesus Christ would be a liar if he said that you get everlasting life but could lose it. It would be temporal, not everlasting. Thus, him being a liar. Um, and that's completely impossible and absurd to even say nobody shall pluck them out of my father's hand those who believe in the son have life eternal life but those who do not believe in the son will not see life heaven life but the wrath of god abides on them um in hell like a fire so um that's the first video i want to tell you so get saved Romans 10, 9, for if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. That's the, I have numerous videos, check out my channel, um, search the word saved and you'll see how to get saved. I have a few videos of it and it tells you how to get saved. Um, second video I was going to um, talk.
talk to you about is I can't remember what it was. Um, oh, um, there is no remission, remission for sin, forgiveness for sin, unless one comes to repentance to uh, accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. So, the unforgivable sin, we all know that it's a confusing topic, that people, a lot of people think that it's Hebrews 10.26. It's not. That doesn't mention anything about Christians coming to uh, know the knowledge of the truth. That does not, it's not talk about Christians. The unforgivable sin is, it's the easiest thing. I don't know why it's so confusing for people. The, the unforgivable sin is to never accept God's gift of salvation. And his gift of salvation also comes with a perk, the forgiveness of sins. Jesus Christ is the forgiveness of sins. If one lives their entire life without ever receiving Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and believing in him in his sacrifice for what he's done for us to save us from hell and our sins, then and they die like that. They, that's the unforgivable sin because how can you be for, how can you be forgiven of sins if you've never accepted the only way to be forgiven of your sins? If you're, if you're unsaved and if you ask God to forgive you of your sins, he's not going to forgive you for your sins because he doesn't know you. He loves you, but he does not know you. You have to believe with all your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, rose from the dead. God rose from the dead three days later, and he died on the cross for your sins, and then confess him as your Lord and Savior. And then his Holy Spirit comes down from heaven into your soul, into your heart. And um, and then you have the privilege to be forgiven of your sins. I learned all that when I received Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior in September 6 of 2014. So um, it you cannot be forgiven of sins. Um, the um, the only way to be forgive only way to be forgiven of your sins is to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior to have faith, to believe in his sacrifice for what he's done for you. Because asking God for forgiveness of your sins, praying to him, that's not going to save you. And nothing that saves you brings forgiveness for sins. The only thing that will save you from hell and your sins and for, for forgiveness for sins is to um, acknowledge to Jesus Christ on your knees like this, with your eyes shut, Jesus Christ, I believe that I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. I believe that you died on the cross to save me from my sins and that God, your Father, rose you again on the third day. I ask you, Jesus Christ, to come into my heart. I accept you. I open my heart for you. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. That's the only way. If you mean that with every being, every single thing you have in your heart, um then you're saved and washed clean and purified of all of your sins for eternity. There's no way that demons, hell, death, anything. The Bible says that the, not neither death nor hell, no demons, no Satan, no angels, nor life, nor murderers, nor sorcerers, no witches, anything. It doesn't mention all that, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you know the verse I'm talking about. We will separate us from the love of God. Salvation. Love and salvation from God. So, and we can't be plucked out of the Father's hands as well. So, any something to be plucked out of the Father's hands would have to be more powerful than God himself. And that's utterly absurd to even say. It's utterly impossible. Um, sin can't, because sin, um, Jesus... Um, defeated sin by uh, he uh, he defeated death and stuff you know so um, and Satan which is Satan is sin um, so something bigger and more powerful than God himself would indeed be something that's eligible and sufficient to pluck you out of his hands. And there's nothing in the world that can do that. God won't ever 
throw you out of his hands because he's already promised you in his word that you've received eternal life through his son's sacrifice on the cross for your sins. That is some very good news. Um, if you sin and sin and sin and sin after you're saved and lose uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit in you, he's still there. I've lost the presence of the Holy Spirit back in January 2015. It sucks because I feel like I'm abandoned by God, that he's not there, but here and there he's come to uh, I've come to realization that he's taught me all this stuff that I'm mentioning in this video that I'm saved that I can't lose salvation and everything um you'll be disconnected from God if you sin and sin willfully against him acknowledging on purpose that's not going to take away your salvation because he's already said that now I do believe in fact that you can lose your rewards some rewards in heaven which I don't know, but you know, we all know that rewards in heaven is utterly, unimaginably more precious and more awesome than we can ever imagine. So we shouldn't take a chance with with losing rewards in heaven. But unfortunately, there's billions of people who are going to be, um, actually billions of people who are going to actually be lost and go to hell. Um, and uh, not see heaven anyways, but also several million people who will lose rewards in heaven like I have too, but I, I do my best to not sin. That's not going to save me, but I'm already, I'm already saved. So after I die from this earth, my soul is going to heaven. As soon as I leave my body, as it says in the Bible, the Word of God, as it says, to be absent from the body, your soul to be absent from your body. And once you're dead, your soul is completely disembodied. Your soul is separated from your body, like body, soul, soul and body connected. Once you're dead, separated. Um, and when you're in your soul form, Jesus Christ is right there because he's always right there and you can't see him because he's spiritual and we can't see the spirits the spiritual stuff unless if we're super close to death or if we're dead um so i hope this brings knowledge and comfort to you guys it's very good news god has shared this with me through my life and i've just decided to come on here i know a lot of people are going to disagree with me saying yes you can lose salvation but god himself has told me it so i i am not trying to offend anybody but i don't stand against your word i stand against god's um promises so peace out hope you guys enjoy this video and more to come soon